Good. Hello. Here we are on a Monday morning, and we have already started the next mod. Mod is that eight, eight. And we introduced these things. So while I'm saying it, what we have already introduced, would you find your paper from day one? It was called Energy and Work. So we defined energy as the ability to do work. So find that information. It's somewhere on a day one paper. And we define the definition of work by a formula, force with these little marks times x. So what were those little marks, MK? Force uh, parallel. Yeah, that meant the force in the parallel direction. Previously, we've seen force perpendicular, but not in this mod. Force parallel. And we did this problem. What did, we, what did we do with these two numbers to get the work for the little guy on the bike? Can you look at your work? We multiplied it. We multiplied, right. And before we did that, what, do you recall what we had to do to this? Convert to meters. Why? Why do we need Newton meters? Because that's the joules is the measurement, and that's also called right. Newton so meters. So whenever we're in any other... Uh, unit, we want to get to newtons and meters so we can use joules. So, are you at that spot? Let me see your fine paper. Anyone need a new one? Where's your paper? You have yours? Good. All right. So, we're going to pick up there because we haven't finished those notes. And here is where we are. There, we've talked about uh, work for a little bit. We're going to go back to energy. There are two kinds of energy. I probably heard about them in your in your math, I mean your science past, potential, and anyone know the other one? There's two kinds of energy. Potential energy from your deep, dark science past. No? Potential and? Can I? Very good, yay. All right. All right, sounds like you have a deep, bright science past. Potential and kinetic. There are two kinds of energy, potential and kinetic. Let me give you a formula for each and we'll check out the units. Potential energy, I'll call it Te, is M times G times H, where these values take on what you think, mass, G, the gravitational constant, and height, H is height, so MGH. Let's uh, work on the unit for uh, potential energy. So, if you would help me with that, Zach, what's the unit for mass normally? Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, yeah, sorry, kilograms. Right, kilograms. And then, Zach, what about G, the acceleration due to gravity? The acceleration due to gravity. What's the. Right, acceleration is meters per second squared. And what would a height be in? Right, since we're working with these, we'll just go ahead and say meters. All right, so combining those a little differently, what if I take the S and split it up? S squared is S times S. What if I split it up to M, M uh, kilogram meters over seconds times meters per second? Kilogram meters per second. Is that what I want to do? No. I want to put the seconds over here. So actually, I want to split it up just like that. I don't want to change it. Where's my eraser? So does anyone recognize kilogram meters per second squared? What is that? We've renamed that a long time ago. But that's a Newton. So we end up, uh, PE must be in Newton meters, but we've renamed Newton meters. Then we're back to joules. So it shouldn't surprise you. Well, maybe it does surprise you because work was in joules and now potential energy is also in joules. Work and energy have the same unit and in many ways they're interchangeable. So I'm going to erase all this thought here and just mention that the unit is joules. All right, what about kinetic energy? Uh, you need the formula. So mass times gravity times height. One half mv squared. No height with kinetic energy. No, no, uh, potential energy. Mass oh, yeah. Times gravity times height. height. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll 
one half mv squared. So let's do a unit check. Uh, unit check there. Mm. What is the unit for mass? Um, kilograms. And what about velocity? All right, and when I square it, I'm going to get meters squared. And when I square seconds, I'll just write it seconds squared squared. So when I square velocity, I get that. And I think I'm just going to rearrange it again. Kilograms, meters squared over seconds squared. So how does that work? Kilogram meters per second squared I can do. Meters per second squared. Hmm. Somehow we want this to come out the same. Let's see. Kilogram meters per second squared, but that leaves over a second squared, and this was meters squared. Hmm. That doesn't look like Newton meters to me. Let's see what I wrote in my notes. Kilograms. That's going to be meters per second. Are you squaring a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm thinking of this as an acceleration. Right. Okay. So now it works. So if I have meters, let me start that over. Kilograms, meters per second is squared. So that's what velocity is. So now I can move um, one of these meters over here kilogram meters and the second squared over here regrouping what's left out of all this just the meter so again I've got new meters I was getting worried there all right so once again we end up with joules so I'll just uh, put the uh, result is the unit is joules or Newton meter all right with those two formulas, let's practice a problem or two, and then we'll add to our repertoire. Let's do, if you would please, draw the old boulder on the stair, stair step. We'll have one, two, three steps, and the boulder at the top of the steps is 34 grams, and each level of stair is 45 centimeters. So draw that scenario. So I want you to find uh, the potential energy that this object has, where it is, find PE, uh, relative to the ground. So we'll say this is the ground. Find Potential energy relative to the ground. Uh, why do I have to say relative to the ground? Well, we know PE is MGH, so we got to know what height to put in. So if I, I'm talking about what's the potential energy from this step to this step only, then it'd be a different number going in. So relative to the ground, we have to get a height. So talk me through this one. What is the mass? Remember, I want to work in kilograms, so how do I switch it from grams quickly to kilograms, the good old metric system? How many times do I move it from kilograms, I mean two kilograms from grams? Kilo is a thousand, so three zeros, one, two, three. So the number that goes in for mass is 0 0.034, G is 9.8, height we have to work in meters, this time we move it twice, so we're at 0.45, but we have that three times, so 1.35 meters, tap that out for me. And our calculator's warmed up. Do you have to convert it to meters before you do it, though? I'm sorry? Since they're in centimeters, do you have to convert? Yeah, did I not? Oh, no, you did, sorry. Right. What does that all multiply to, anyone? I don't have the answer, Zach. I see you tapping. What is it? All right. All right, where would I go and change that number, these numbers, 
if I wanted to do it, say, relative to the first step, so I'm going to cut this problem off here, where would I change the work for a potential energy when I go back in there? Uh, M MD, where would I go to change that? You would go to the height. Right, and so that with this number, instead of 1.35, what would I have to put in? 0.45. Right, so. I don't think we need to do that, just pointing it out. So watch what the problem is asking the PE relative to, so you get the height correct. Questions on that? Do you have that written down as an example? All right, next. I want you, we'll do a KE, that's a PE, we'll do a KE problem. Let's say that we have a car. Smart cars are easy to draw, but you can be a little more creative than that. Hardly see those things anymore. You notice smart cars? Mm -hmm. You should re rarely see them. I don't think they caught on too well. All right, so there's a smart car, and it's uh, going to have a mass of, I don't know its mass. I know its weight. OK, so its weight is, so we'll have to mess with this, 6675 newtons. Remember, we can do a weight in pounds in America, everywhere else in the world. 6675 newtons is a weight. And the car is going at a velocity of 70, we'll say 37 meters per second. So find KE. Find the kinetic energy. So we're down to this formula. The only thing is we have to remember how to go from, from this to mass. So remember, weight equals mg. Haven't forgotten. So have divide by 9.8. Yeah, so before we can use um, 1 half mg, we have to get m from this force. So, Alex, can you tap that out for us? We have 6675 six, yeah. equals mass. That's what we want, times 9.8. So you're going to end up dividing. By 9.8. Yes. And you get 681. All right, I'll just cut it off at 2, 6 fig, 680. And that is mass. And velocity is given. So tippy tap that out, out, out also, Alex. One half, six eighty, and thirty seven. Is it just near the whole concept of potential energy? Twelve thousand five hundred eighty. What was it? Twelve thousand five hundred eighty. All right. So far fetched theory. What is? Potential energy. No, it's very practical. Right. You'll see. You'll see. For what? Um, where is the potential um, energy stored? It is position. Position gives right. it its potential. So if it's sitting on the ground, there's no potential. All right. For what? Wait. Why don't I just square it? Just half? 37? Uh, one half mv squared. Yeah, little details. Oh, yeah. All right. Do that. One half mv squared. Thank right. you. I was squaring right. things already that I didn't need to square, so I had to make up for Divide it by, by not squaring what I did need to square. Come on, give me a break. What? 465,000. Yeah, 465, I'll say 4.7 times 10 to the fifth. Fifth, yeah. Fifth. They're five. All right. <laughs> 35. Using, using sig figs as I went, even in the middle well, of the calculation. Failing if yours is slightly off, you probably didn't use the 680, oh, yeah, which I fine. will accept. All right. I really know. All right. Before we go on to the next idea, we we will today. Let's do a couple of these kind on our own. So can you fit them on where you're working? You have room to do like four problems. Yeah. All right. These are quick. Look how quick the formulas are. MGH done. You know, one half mv squared done. All right. So here they are. Oyos, find your book. Come out and get your book, or at least. Can I stop the video? Um, you yeah, show them what the problems are. Actually, I'll show them the problems in the book, and then we'll turn. Okay. I don't know. I'm getting can you grab my red ones. ones? Yeah. Bless you. All right. Can they see what was the sign? Is that up? Yes. All right. Let me show you those. Thank you. Um, I don't know about that. 